Alrighty, uh, here is a uh, Technics cassette deck. It doesn't have any uh, overcurrent protection. It see how the power comes in from the the line cord. It goes to this cap and it goes into the transformer. The other side goes up to the switch and goes from the switch back down to the power transformer. And there is a uh, no fuse in it of any kind. So we're gonna take and we're gonna. Cut this little cap off. I used my drill here to uh, drill the hole to uh, mount the fuse block. And this is a uh, chassis mount fuse block. So I'm going to take a little sandpaper here and just sand where I'm going to solder my wire just to, so I get a nice good solder joint. So I'm just going to solder, sand a little on the top and I'll sand a little on the bottom here. And I'll sand this one. Okay, so now we can insert this through here. We gotta get our little nut in. I had to use the right size drill because you don't want to drill the hole too big for obvious reasons because then it won't fit. And we'll use our pliers or a wrench and we'll just snug this little nut up. I gotta bring it back just a little bit because I wanna turn it so it's even. You don't want to over tighten it because it's plastic. Okay, so we will strip the line cord wire because that's gonna go here on the back. So we'll strip it with our 18 gauge hole. I'll twist my strands together and I'll go down through the hole, make sure all the strands go through the hole. You don't want any of the strands to stick out. See how that strand came out? You don't want that. So I'm going to twist them back together a little bit more. And we're down in the hole. I might even take a little more off so I get it, make sure it's long enough. So I'll take a little more. So 
See that one strand wants to come back out, so I gotta make sure they're all together. There, now all of them are. So, okay, I'm gonna bring it back. And I'm gonna wrap these strands. See, that's a little short, so I'm gonna even take a little more off. Because I wanna wrap that around. So I'm gonna score it here. And pull it off. See how I got hold the insulation that way I don't risk breaking any of the strands. Okay, so I'll go down very carefully in that hole. See that. There it is, they all, all the strands are through. I'll bring it up, get it around. And I'll make sure that all the strands are wrapped around the, uh, and come back up. I'm just going to go underneath there, grab it, keep it even here. Just kind of like get the strands to come all the way around. Just like that there. Okay, I'll get my flux out here. I'm going to use rosin core solder. Okay, so I'll just take a, just put a little bit of flux here on the top. Now I'll get a little flux down here on the bottom. I'll get this wire out of the way so I don't burn it. That's the last thing I want to do is burn burn something. I'll bring that up. Okay, so I'll clean my tip. I'll tin my iron here a little bit. I'll get under, oh, this wire's going to be in my way. I'll push that down. I'll get underneath here and be very careful not to burn anything. Get some more solder on my iron here. Very careful go underneath not to burn anything. I can use solder to flow. Okay, we'll let that cool a bit there. Okay, so now we have to uh, Lift this terminal up a little bit. Now we'll strip our orange wire here. This is the load side. I'll take off a nice generous amount there. I'll 
I'll twist the strands together. I'll go in from the top so that way I see all my strands going through. I'll get them all wrapped around there. I'll use these pliers here to make sure I get them all wrapped around. Okay, nothing's showing underneath, so we can take it. We can get a little flux on the top here, and we'll go underneath. Clean my tip again. Okay, so I'll push this wire down out of the way so I don't burn it. Tin my iron. I'll go underneath, solder a little bit from the bottom. Now that I'm done, I'll tin my iron. And I'll let it sit and I'll turn it off. Okay, so I'll use my uh, some alcohol and Q-tips here and I'll just uh, clean the solder joints up here, get the flux off. The alcohol cuts through the flux very nicely. Okay, so we'll put this fuse in here. Just goes in like that, goes in like that, and you lock it down. Push it in when you turn it. And the reason I put this fuse in is uh, coming off the secondary, you see the power comes down to the uh, circuit board and you see the uh, rectifier diodes right there see those if one of those go bad in a shorting condition it can cause the power transformer to overheat because it's that short from those diodes burning it can uh, get the windings of this power transformer very hot and then the primary windings can short and uh, while it's taking time to burn out the house fuse it can draw too much more current than what this uh, cord is rated for so uh, it can uh, 
heat up and short out and it can possibly like catch a curtain on fire or something in the house on fire. So uh, that's why I put it in. And as you can see, it was UL listed without any uh, overcurrent protection in it from the factory. Okay, so last but not least, I'm going to take and put some uh, Loctite on here so that this nut doesn't back off and loosen up on me. So here's your, your uh, typical house fuses. See how big those filaments are? And see how tiny the little filament is in the fuse we're putting in the unit? The same type of filament is inside this Pico fuse. So uh, these two house fuses are equivalent to your modern circuit breaker. And the filament in this is so small, it will burn this out before it starts a fire in your house. Okay, so now we got to take care of these wires so that they're not loose and they're too short to reach over to this clip that was in there from the factory, so we're going to tie them to the clip wire. So we'll squeeze this one down, go down under here. Alrighty, so I feel that this uh, line fuse I put in here is a very basic fire prevention thing that uh, UL and the uh, Consumer Product Safety Commission should require inside of all stereo components, no matter if it's a high price one or a cheaper one, because uh, without this fuse, it could, there could be a fire but uh, before you do this, consult an authorized service center because if it's done wrong, you can create a fire hazard or a shock hazard. Peace. Thanks for watching.